fit check. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa. You know, the new year is here. It's it's 2021 and I know a lot of people have New Year's resolutions to eat healthier, take care of their body more. So I had this idea to make a video with healthy food ideas because when lockdown started last year at the beginning of the year, I got super into cooking. Um, I had HelloFresh for a little bit and HelloFresh um, I'm not sponsored, but I strongly recommend it even if you don't continue doing it for a really long time because it did Teach me a lot of the basics of cooking and to not be afraid of like different flavors and different types of foods But anyway since then I've really liked just trying new foods and cooking and So I wanted to make a healthy ideas video or healthy healthy dinner ideas video i've this is actually my final night of recording i've been recording for five or six different dinners now and i'm super super excited to show you guys what i'm cooking but i just wanted to do a little bit of an intro thank you for joining me today so we can watch and learn how to cook these yummy healthy and satisfying meals all right guys, I am switching over to voiceover. So tonight I'm making Kung Pao cauliflower and these are the ingredients that I'm using. Cauliflower, red pepper, white onion, and green onion. Oh, and don't forget the, the adult juice. I like to drink wine when I cook. So I'm basically just taking off the green part of the cauliflower and separating the cauliflower into florets so I can put them on a baking sheet and bake them at 420 for 20 minutes. I like to use a neutral oil like sunflower oil and I mix the oil in all good and nice and I put my seasonings on it which as you saw were garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and salt. Then I put them in the oven again at 420, bake them for 20 minutes, and then I cut up my red pepper, my red peppers, excuse me, and chop them up kind of finely. And then I dice some onion. And then I cut my green onion. I separate the white parts of the onion to put with the white onion because the green onion part is more of a topper. I also chopped some garlic and now I'm making the sauce. So for the sauce, you're gonna need uh, a soy sauce. I use gluten-free soy sauce because my boyfriend has celiac, toasted sesame seed oil, brown sugar, and lemon. You can use vinegar if you want, but I don't like vinegar, so I'm using lemon and I will put the exact measurements down in the description bar. I also add some cornstarch to thicken and some honey to sweeten it a little bit. The garlic also goes in the sauce. Again, I use my neutral sunflower oil and saute the onions and peppers. Hi, me again. I wanted to interject because I literally forgot to put peanuts in the Kung Pao cauliflower. It's, I can't believe I forgot it because it's such a good little crunch, little texture to the meal. So don't forget to add peanuts. When the cauliflower is done baking, I bring it out and I start my rice. You can add as much as you like, but I'm cooking for my boyfriend and I and he's trying to gain weight right now, so I usually make more for him. Then I add the cauliflower to my pan with the sauteed onions and peppers. And then I add the yummy, yummy sauce. I like to taste test it as I'm kind of coating it because sometimes I'll add a little bit more tamari or honey depending on what the flavor is like. You can see I needed more of both. So this is just me plating it. This is for my boyfriend, for some reason I always plate his and it looks so much nicer than when I plate my own. So I am putting his cauliflower on his rice and adding the green onions. 
Okay guys, this is definitely one of my favorite dishes, Mediterranean pasta with shrimp. Ignore the mushrooms, but these are my ingredients. I'm using leeks, white onion, red pepper, lemon and green onion, and spinach. So I get my gluten-free spaghetti ready. And I start to trim leeks. If you've never had these before, they're so good. They're like a cousin to an onion. I forgot to film it, but I also diced my white onion, green onion, and red pepper. So I added that all to a pan to saute with neutral sunflower oil. And I'm just stirring the spaghetti. And I add my seasonings, which is usually red pepper, basil, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Honestly, I forgot I was making shrimp, so I would definitely start before this point making your shrimp, but I drained the pasta. And I continued cooking my shrimp. Ideally, you'd want it this kind of done at this point, but I added the pasta to my cooked vegetables and I kind of just started stirring everything together. And then I drained the shrimp from the weird water it gets when it's frozen and I started tossing that all together. And I added juice from a whole lemon, it was kind of small, and olive oil, spinach. This will start to cook down, I usually add it at the end. bit more basil and red pepper onion powder garlic powder for flavor and I continued to toss this all together so all the different spices cook together and then finally you add feta and you toss it all around one final time before you plate the pasta and just add additional feta on top because I love feta oh and don't forget the green onion shout out to my friend Haley for introducing me to ahi tuna steaks they're so good and they're so easy to make I always make them with a vegetable cauliflower is my favorite so I began to prepare to bake them for 20 minutes at 420 so I put my sunflower oil added mushrooms, and then I seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, and lemon pepper. Oh, and I also added onion halves. Then I began to season my thawed ahi tuna steaks with the 21 salute seasoning from Trader Joe's, basil, and the umami seasoning, I think that's how you pronounce it, from Trader Joe's. I also added the juice of a lemon and there's Dean. I put sunflower oil on the pan and started baking, excuse me, frying the ahi tuna steaks. You really do not have to cook them for long because the goal is to cook them from like medium to medium rare. I plated the steaks and vegetables and we ate. So this isn't the healthiest thing in the world because of the brie cheese, but it tastes so good. I got a cauliflower flatbread and brie cheese bites and I sliced a honey crisp apple and I halved some more onions and then I sliced the brie cheese in half this really is the only bad part about this meal but it was New Year's and I wanted to make something kind of fun so after I chopped everything up I got some sunflower oil and started to caramelize the onions I like to add a little bit of cinnamon to this as well for the cauliflower crust, I just looked at the directions on the back of the box to prep it for toppings. And after it was prepped, I added the caramelized onions to the crust. And then I added the apple slices. And then finally, I spread out the cheese. And then you're gonna wanna drizzle some honey and add red pepper flakes. I know it sounds weird, but it tastes so good. And then you pop it back in the oven for about eight minutes. 
The next dish is butternut squash cauliflower curry and I have cauliflower florets, butternut squash, white onion, garbanzo beans, coconut milk, and curry powder. Start by dicing the onions and sauteing the cauliflower and onions together. I have onion powder, garlic salt, red pepper flakes. And after that starts to get a little bit more soft, I add the butternut squash. And then I drain my chickpeas. Add those to the other vegetables and then I start adding my curry powder. I also start to cook my jasmine rice and my camera died, but I added the coconut milk and then I just kind of add more curry powder to taste and plate. Our final meal is something I tried for the first time. It's ground turkey and veggie pasta. I started dicing a green pepper, but I strongly suggest um, using a red pepper because I didn't really like it with the green pepper. I then started dicing my onions. I obviously like onion. Then green onion. And then I grab my sunflower oil and I start to cook the ground turkey. I seasoned it with onion powder, garlic salt, and basil. salt and pepper like usual I then added the green pepper and onion and then I began to cook my pasta noodles as I continued to cook the meat and veggies I added some low sodium chicken broth and oat milk. I also added some almond flour to thicken. I'm sorry, I, I'm really bad. I don't really use measurements, um, but I will link the actual recipe below. And then I added vegan mozzarella. I let that cook on high heat and it started to thicken. So I added some spinach, added my pasta, and then I plated and this was seriously so good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel inspired to start the new year putting good, healthy food in your body and having a good relationship with food because it is so important to eat and fuel your body. That mindset in and of itself changed my relationship with food because I remembered that I'm eating food to fuel my skin vessel. So, Ooh, you suck. If you like what you saw today, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time that I post. Leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you feel like doing, and I cannot wait to see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.